Finding out. It's the elixir of life for farmers. Fertilizer is quickly becoming a premium rate product weighing on farmers' pockets. Last year, my fer total fertilizer bill was, a, I think it was a tiddly bit over £30,000. This year, it will be in excess of £100,000. So that is some hike in price. Most of our fertilizer comes, or the large, I believe, I don't suppose it is now, but the largest single factory producing artificial nitrogen fertiliser was in Ukraine. A couple of miles down the A14, unloading goods to keep our shelves stocked, this haulage company near Huntingdon delivers food across the country. But like many businesses, their finances are also being squeezed. With the Ukraine war and all of the different things that have made such a massive effect to um, everything in our industry, um, you know, there's nothing where we can, we, we feel helpless really. They've already seen costs increase, but they feel they can only make changes if those in power intervene. The government would lower fuel duty and try and compensate the inflation to try and protect, protect our country from a possible recession. Every pound we pass on to our customers, which are the supermarkets, they're, they've got to do something with it and, and, and eventually the consumer is going to end up paying the bill. Businesses are facing their own challenges at the moment. Is there anything at all they can do to help consumers? They should look at ways from a business point of view to try to cut prices because we know that consumers need all the help they can. Of course, businesses need their profits and so forth, but they might be able to support their clientele a little bit more so they are more likely to come back. And that is also something that can make consumers feel good. Back on the farm, it's not just fertiliser they are worried about. Tim thinks it may get worse before it gets better. Ukraine happens to be one of the largest exporters of wheat in the world and I'm guessing very little of that is going to happen this year so there could be, um, heaven forbid, a shortage worldwide of wheat. While the conflict in Ukraine continues, customers are bearing the brunt as businesses brace for impact. The Ochkomba, Beeps Lick East.